come out a little bit more aggressive. He realizes oh, he came that he's right way at behind. Denny came right at Ricky, tried to land the straight right. Now Sigue is becoming more aggressive. He can't afford to wait too much longer. Exactly, and Ricky's proved that the longer the fights go, that Ricky sometimes gets tired. He gets stopped in the 10th round by Donny Poole, and now Denny's coming out. I'm sure that he knows well about the Poole fight. Maybe he's trying to do the same thing in this round. Well, he just threw about three uppercuts, three right-hand uppercuts, uh, Sigwe did. So he's going for broke. Well, he's got to realize two more rounds. He's got to... And the rest of this one. Yeah, exactly. So he's got almost, uh, he's got two and a half rounds of boxing. Over. But he's got to start making some inroads soon. Uh, geez, Ricky Ricky upper cut nice by Anderson. Left that, upper cut by Ricky Anderson. That snapped Sigwa's head back. Then he's carrying his hands right down to his waist, which is a big mistake. Now he's trying to get Anderson on the ropes. And Anderson is using his experience. Ricky just said to Denny, come on, let's go. Anderson, three or four jabs. Now Sigway with the hands down. And it's good strategy by Anderson. As soon as he sets a Sigway coming into him, he goes into Sigway. Look at it, Denny's just taking punch after punch. He doesn't care. Watch the right hand of Sigway. It's not 13 people. Oh, he just on. took Ricky's, one of Ricky's best lefts, and it didn't even phase him. That was a good-looking combination, like you said, by Anderson Dorman. That was... Anderson just keeping him away with the jab, but Sigwe is relentless. And there's that's good strategy that Anderson is employing. He's just clinching him when he comes in, beating him as he comes in, and then when he gets too close, he just clinches him. Now Sigwe with the right hand. Ricky Sigwe just fell short with a with a left right hook. Anderson with the leopard cut and the jab. I think Ricky's making a mistake if he lays on the ropes against Denny. Anderson now teeing off on Sigwe. But Sigwe is having trouble finding the range as we wind down to the end of the 10th round. A lot of people didn't think this fight would go that far. It's Anderson is fighting a smart fight. There's a good combination by Anderson, a right-left, and that snaps Sigwe's head. But you see how tough Sigwin is. He doesn't take a backward step. Oh, he's very tough. And that's what makes him so dangerous. Although Anderson is way ahead on points, Sigwin is not out of this fight. Well, Sigwin's now cut under both, both the left and right eyes. It's not cuts that can stop the fights. They're under the eyes, and they can be brought down, the cuts. And we have had a very entertaining night of boxing. You've almost seen now three hours of boxing if you've been with us from the start and we're at round 11 here and Ricky Anderson if he can hang on will easily win this fight on points Sigwe's only hope is for a knockout and I look for Sigwe at 11 and 12 I look for the animal to come out in Sigwe well if he's not going to show it in the 11th you're going to see warfare in the 12th round he has to come back in the next six minutes and do something Round 11. Sigwin led off with two right hands. Back Ricky into the ropes. Ricky should get off the ropes and move. Now Sigwin, you can see he's getting more aggressive. Trying to get inside. That landed, that right landed on the gloves. So did that one. Now Sigwin's opening up that right hand. And Anderson clinches again. Ricky's still smiling at Denny. He's, he's telling him the punches don't, don't mean anything. This has been a terrific fight. It's been everything that was advertised. The boxer, Anderson, against the slugger, Sigwen.
Anderson with that, that left. Uh, combination there. Boy, scored with that left hand. Snapped his head back. But you look at Sigwe. He's relentless. Sigwe is not out of this fight until the last bell. Although Anderson has to have an overwhelming lead on points. Anderson's strategy is impeccable, Norman. Well, let's say throughout this fight, he's fought a textbook fight. He's jabbed. He's thrown his occasional power hand. But, I mean, Denny st still keeps coming. I don't know where Denny gets a heart from. He's got an incredible heart. He does have incredible heart. I, as I said, I'm impressed with Sigwe, regardless of what happens in this fight. People say that Ricky Anderson can't take a shot. Tonight, he's proven that he can take shots. Up to this round so far, he's taken in a, some of Denny B. Seguin's best right hands. He's still standing. He wants to keep the title. He wants to fight his, his textbook fight and give Denny the boxing lesson that he said he would give him. There's the end of the 11th round.